Hello so buddies, welcome to my channel. This video was highly highly requested and it is a slower version of one of the older videos here on the channel. It is not in my character to give you half baked tutorial. So here is a redo of that viral video you all love so much. Thank you so much for watching all my tutorials. If you're new here, my name is Joy and I am the tutor and the convener for this channel Way by Ang Lee. You are so welcome to this wonderful sewing community sit down relax and let us get right into the business for today so to make this skirt i'm using this six yards of fabric like i said in the other video this fabric this skirt requires a no fabric i use about five years plus for the other one so yeah this is just a bundle of ankara fabric and i'm going to be making do with the complete six years so when you want to make a circle skirt that is gathered you want to make sure that you have enough fabric all right you want to make sure you have enough fabric if you're making for a long skirt then that means you have to make it a half circle if you want your um, skirt to be long then it's definitely going to be half circle so it's more like you are um, making up for the, in, in length you're reducing the the circumference of the circle instead of making it a 360 degree circle you have to make it a 180 degree circle that is if you want it to be a long skirt but since i'm making a short skirt i can of course do a 360 degrees circle skirt okay and because it is three step now if this circle skirt were just to be just one step you know it won't consume so much fabric but because it is going to be three step or three tier that's why we are going to need a whole lot of fabric but then if you don't want if you don't have so much fabric to splodge if you don't have so much fabric fabric to work with then you can just make it a rectangular skirt it's going to be a circle the only difference is that the effect that it's going to give you that that fullness is going to give you will not be so visible in a rectangle skirt so you can actually make this skirt in a rectangle form you know just comment down below if you want me to do a tutorial on the rectangle a style of this circle so instead of a circle we are going to making it in rectangle that way you're able to manage your fabric efficiently all right so for this tutorial i'm going to be using this full bundle of fabric we need our tape of course then we need the scissors here my chalk for marking i'm going to be using this chalk to mark and then the next thing I'll, you will need for this tutorial is your two inches elastic band this is what we are going to be using for the waist all right this is just um the leftover from the last one i did so i just brought it in to show you this is the elastic band it's actually two inches so when you go to the market or when you're buying from your online store what have you you can ask for two inches um band it's not exactly two inches but they call it two inches band okay so these are the things i'll be needing to make this circle skirt now coming into all the measurements we need for this circle skirt yeah as you can see the full length of this circle skirt is 21 inches that is what i'm using for my full length now this full length is in the seam allowance that's the um seam allowance for the hem is also included like for this um circle skirt i'm not going to be adding any extra allowance or any extra um, fabric for the, the hem because I'm going to be doing a row hem, a very tiny hem. So what I need basically for that hem is half inch. But then everything is submerged inside the full length. So inside the lens, all these lengths are pasted out. So yeah, the full length is 21 inches. My first tier, my first tier now is this longest one. That is what I'm calling my first tier. So let's call this our uh, first tier. This is the first tier. This is what I'm calling my first tier, my second tier. And the third tier okay so let's call this the first one the second one and the third one the first one is actually the longest that is which is actually going to be like it's supposed to be the full length of this uh, skirt but because it has a band right so you have to take into consideration the length of this band so if you if you the, the band now the length of the band is two inches so meaning that from here to here is two inches okay meaning that if you do 21 minus 2 is going to give you 19 which is the longest tier all right so the second tier now which is this middle tier is 13 inches now from the distance from each tier to the other one is 60 inches so i made them six inches apart that's for each tier so this is six inches longer than this this one is six inches longer than this all right so if you check 19 minus 13 it's going to give you six 13 minus 7 is also going to give you 6. So it's just I just use 6. It's my own preference. Now, depending on the length of your skirt, you can now decide on how to space all of them. Now, there's no hard and fast route to it. You must not make it same spacing. You can actually make this one 
a lot a, a more wider in length than this one anybody want to do this just try and you know be creative with your design all right so here the full length is 21 the first year is 19 second year 13 then the third year is 7 then the band is 2 inches so if you add 2 plus 19 is going to give you this 21 remember 19 is like the longest one then the waist is 30 that is my waist my original waist is 30 the waist of this skirt that is round this the circumference of my waist is 30 inches now coming into the calculation of the radius of this circle now you know when we talk about a circle this is a circle all right this part is a circle and when you want to the radius of a circle is from the midpoint of that circle this is what we call radius okay now the circumference of the circle is this round that you want to get the circumference of the circle now you know for when you want to sew a circle skirt of course you need space for the waist that's where this waist will enter so that means for circle skirt there's another circle here again all right this is now going to be open where the waist can sit so for calculation of the radius of so the circle we are focusing on right now is this smaller circle because it is the smaller circle that will give us the waist that the circumference of this circle is actually my set the circumference of my waist which is 30. so now you want to calculate your radius in such a way that when you cut your set this the circle when you cut the skirt after cutting it and measuring it round it's going to give you 30. okay but now because this is a gathered circle skirt emphasis on gather because it's going to be gathered we need this to be wider so that at the end of the day when we now gather it is going to give us something that can you know our waist can sit now because there's an elastic inside that's there's going to be an elastic and we are going to be we need to gather we need enough space to gather the circle that is why when we are okay first of all let's calculate for the second that's the circumference of this circle let's do the calculation for it now circumference of a circle is to calculate for circumference of a circle calculation for circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r i can't believe i'm actually doing secondary school maths for this but because somebody actually asked how did i get the radius so i'm just going to take my time to do this circumference the calculation if you check your math test book or you check online calculation for circumference is 2 pi r so now what we are looking for is the radius we are looking for the radius right the circumference in this case is already 30. That's the circumference of the circle. So the this thing, the our waist, our waist is now the circumference that's round this. So what we are looking for is the radius so that we know how we know what we can use when folding a fabric to cut a circle. So the way I I, I ended at that 6.28 because somebody was asking why 6.28. This is the calculation. So you do circumference of a circle is supposed to 2 pi r. Now to find this radius of a circle now. If you if you want to find the radius, you know your maths now, cross multiplication and all those stuff. The to now be circumference over 2 pi is equals to the radius so meaning that it's going to be circumference is 30 30 divided by 2 times pi pi in this case is 22 over 7 so first of all we need to do the calculation of pi pi the value for pi is 22 all over 7 so first off we are going to find 22 all over 7 is 3.14 approximately 3.14 so basically what we are doing here is 2 times 2 times 3.14 right so at the end of the day what it will be is radius is equals to 30 divided by 2 times 3.14 i have to go through this route so that you can understand and know why i ended up in 6.28 so it's going to give us 6.28 so it's not like r is equals to 30 divided by 6.28 so that's how i got 6.28 when people are asking me uh, how did you get your radius radius of the circle so it means that when I'm now folding the fabric, I'll just do my waist. This is the circumference divided by. So that's how I got the 6.28. I hope this um, explanation was very satisfactory. So now let's get into the tutorial proper with that out of the way. So that's how I got my waist, which is 30 divided by 6.2. That's how we got this. So we did not just plug 6.28 from a mango tree. No, this is how we got the calculation, right? You see, you see, I always say that when you read textbooks, as if you look at my previous video, I told you how to become a self-taught fashion designer designer when you read test books it's really break these things down for you you understand you even understand more than some of the fashion schools you are supposed to go to that's just my own opinion because most of them i don't even know why it's 6.28 but you see i've been able to start from the very beginning like i started from the the, the um the formula for second like i started to tell you why we use 6.28 so this, this is how we, we landed at 6.28 now let's go and start cutting our fabric so for the first year now for the first tier now, remember first tier is 19 inches, right? So the first tier is 19 inches. So it means is that the length is 19 inches. Now for the radius, the radius 
the radius is going to be the same for all of them. So radius now is 30 divided by 6.28. So if you do if you do 30, 30 divided by 6.28 is going to give you approximately approximately 4.78 right it's going to give you approximately 4.78 that's 30 divided by 6.28 will give you approximately 4.78 so now because it's a gather but if you were just doing a normal circle sketch that is not gather this is what you will use as your radius this is what you use as your radius and if you're working in inches you know that the nearest one is that's if you are to approximate it to the nearest whole number it's going to be five inches but if you're working in cm you can actually find this you know that now in the case of cm you have to convert this 4.78 inches to cm the conversion is um one 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 inch is equal to 2.5 cm that's the conversion so you just have to convert this 4.78 to cm or even if you want to press calculator you just bring your tape you bring your tape the way the way i do my own conversion just bring your tape look for where 4.78 is turn to the other side so 4.78 in inches will be around 12. so you see how i just did that so if you're working in in, in cm sorry will be around 12. if you're working with cm you can just turn find the value of the the stuff in inches then you flip it to the other side and you get the value in cm that is if your tape is this type of tape i know some people's code it might not be this type of tape so if your tape is the one that has inches and cm in opposite sides then this can work for you all right so now because we are we are going to be gathering this cat we need enough um, space for the gathering so what i did was i now multiply this by two so what i did was you know this tutorial is like a support for the other tutorial because I, I, I noticed that a whole lot of you liked that particular tutorial and then the comment section was filled with comments like it's too fast it's too fast how did you get this how did you get this point to it you know all those complaints and it's not in my place to you know teach a half-baked tutorial so that's why i decided to like i've not been at peace seeing all the comments i wasn't at peace with it i didn't really like the couple with the fact that there were so many of you know it's too fast it's too fast kind of comments so that's why i decided to settle everything in this tutorial so because it's going to be a gathered sketch i now did 4.78 multiplied by 2 so 4.78 multiplied by 2 and it gave me 9.56 now because it's actually gathered and you know you can even make it bigger than this or smaller depend on the size of the fabric you have you can make it i just approximated it to 10 i don't want to use 9.56 because it might be hard it will be hard for me to find on my tape you can actually use 9.5 or 10 so in my own case i just approximated it to 10 that was just what i did so what it means is that the radius we are working with is 10 inches okay so now when you are folding your material or your fabric in the case of 19 19 what i need now is the length of 19 and the radius of 10 so meaning that my fabric the the the, the fabric for this one the fabric for this one should be that is 19 plus 10 is what 29 19 plus 10 is 29 so i will need double of that that's 29 plus 29 so this will give me 29 the next one will give me 29 which is 29 plus 29 is um 58 50 so from here to here is 58 so i need a, a fabric with size of 58 by 58 that's for the longest one so when i fold it and cut it the circle this will give me my round circle and then the next one will be able to occupy it that's i need this width of fabric for me for me to be able to cut out my circle that is for the longest one so the first the first year we need a fabric of 58 by 58 inches 58 by 58 inches then for the second tier the second tier the length is 13 right so 13 plus 10 radius is 23 so 23 into two places now is 46 so for the second one we need a fabric of 46 by 46 right then for the third one the third tier which is seven inches seven inches plus 10 is 17 17 into two places is 34 so the for the last tier that's the smallest tier we need a fabric of 34 by 34 inches that was just what i was trying to explain so sorry that explanation was not clear enough i hope you understand it now so this is the largest one the second one and the third one so i'm going to go ahead and cut a square fabric of 58 inches by 58 inches and then i'm going to cut another one of 46 by 46 and then cut another one of 34 by 34 so i'll go ahead and do that off camera and then bring it to the table and then show you how to fold it and cut the the um radius and then the complete circle i'm starting with the smallest tier which is the which is the third tier right so i'm starting with it i want to fold it into four it's very it's not so wide like the other ones remember the smallest tier we said from the last i said it's 34 by 34 so i'm gonna have to cut a square a square of 34 by 34 inches so this is 34 this is 
34. I hope you can see that. This is 34. I'm going to need to cut a square of 34. The other part is 34 inches also. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fold it into four. And to fold it, you want to first of all fold the two ends like so. You fold it like this. Make sure they meet. Okay? You fold it. And after folding it this way, the next thing you do is to fold it the other way. So this is how you fold into four. Okay? So yeah, I folded it into four. This is the smallest here, remember? So remember what our radius is. You need to go ahead and start marking. And then the full length of this particular tier is seven inches. So the first thing I'm doing here is to mark the radius. To mark the radius, remember, we are now working on that circle from the calculation we did. So for the radius 10 inches, you want to place your tape on this pivot point. I can do here 10 and then 17. Ignore the excess because I added something when cutting. So that's why you are seeing that extra fabric there. But if you don't add, just to be on the safe side, that's why I added something. I didn't want a situation whereby after folding, there's going to be a shortening. So I didn't want that. So yeah, you mark 10, 17. Remember from here to here is 7. That's why I'm marking 17. Instead of doing it separate. So you don't want to move your tape from this pivot point. You just move it round 10, 17. Holding it at that same part. It's not time to link it together. Then going in with my scissors, I'm going to cut it. So this is what it looks like after cutting it. Of course, the circumference is going to be very wide because at the end of the day, we'll end up gathering it. So this is the first tier. After cutting it, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the second tier. The only difference now is going to be in the length, okay? So this is the second tier. Remember, our second tier is 46 by 46, which is like the long the length of my Ankara fabric. So I'm going to cut 46 by 46. I folded it into two, and then now I'm going to fold it into two again, which is into four. That's folding into four. So I've done that. Then for this second tier, I'm going to go ahead and take my 10 inch and then my 13 inch inches. So here are my 10 inches. And remember 10 plus 13 is 23. So I'm doing 10 inch and then 23, which is like the length of the complete length. Yeah, because the, the the length and the breadth that's the the this the two sides that's the 58 by 58 because it's too wide wider than my fabric like i said my fabric is 46 inches wider that's that's the width of my fabric i busy the length here yeah, the length of my fabric is 46 so now because it's not as long as 58 inches it can't give me a perfect square of 58 inches i went ahead and cut it into two places for this last tier, what it means basically is instead of cutting it 58 by 58, the perfect square, I went ahead and cut it into two places, meaning that it's going to give me 50. I'm going to be cutting a 58 by 29. That is because my fabric is not wide enough. But if you're using a fabric that is wider or as wide as 58, 60 inches, 90 inches, then you will not need to do this. Okay? You won't need to divide it. So because my fabric is not as wide enough to give me that the width and the length I need, I went ahead to cut it in two places so at the end of the day what i'm cutting is a 58 by 29 inches um fabric in two places okay so that's what i'm gonna head to do now for the cutting of that longest one because of that because i've done that in two places instead of folding it into four now i'm going to be folding it into two okay so i'm folding it into two instead of into four because I, i'm going to be cutting it in two places I'm really taking my time to do this because I believe most people on this channel are beginners. So it's a good thing if people complain so that that way I will know how to adjust the speed when I'm sewing. So now it's time for us to cut the radius. Remember our radius is 10 inch and then the full length is 19. So 19 plus 10 is 29. So that's what I'm going ahead to do.
now this is the last year i cut it into two places all right so now this last year that's the first year sorry not the last year the first year now because it's into two places it means there's going to be a joining normally i wanted this cat not to have any side seams or anything back seam side seam i didn't want any of that but because of this wide skirt now because of this one so it's because of, i divided this one into two that means it's going to definitely have seams so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go on to the sewing machine join them together and then fold the hem and then start folding the hem okay for the band that's the band that's going to be bearing the elastic for the band that is going to be bearing the elastic what we want to do basically is to measure this that's to measure around this um circle this inside here we need to measure it round okay so that's what we are going to do that way it's going to give us the exact length of the band that we need Seven, that's the length of band that we need 67 inches so because we are going to be joining the band that's the the band we are going to be joining the two ends of the band i'm just going to go ahead and make it 69 instead of 67 so this 69 is the seam allowance that's one, one inch on both sides just in case at the end of the day the seam allowance is too much i'll end up trimming it up so what i need is 69 inches by five 69 inches by five this is the band I'm going to be needing. It's nine inches. Now you might be asking why five inches? Five inches because when I bring in my elastic, remember the band was two inches. We use the same length, the same width of the elastic. The band was two inches, so this is the elastic. Okay, so the band is going to be bearing the elastic at the end of the day. And of course, we need a seam allowance. We need seam allowance that will be joining to the side. So the seam allowance for both sides of this band is half half inch. That's why it's five. Remember the band is two inches so because we are going to be folding the the band of the skirt we are going to be folding this into two that's why we made it four now when you add half inch on this side and half inch on this side it's going to give you five that is why i used five so to do 60 inches by eight that's what i'm going to be using for my belt and then i'll just slash the ends of the belt so let me go ahead and cut 60 inches by eight that's what i want to use for this particular one i doubt it is the same measurement i used for the last skirt so for this one i'm just going to be doing 60 by eight so this is the belt 60 inches by eight I'm going to do that 16 inches by 8 so because i don't want the the middle of the belt and the ends to be same width i'm going to go ahead and cut it the width is the only part i want the sorry the ends i don't want the mid the middle of the belt and the ends to be the same so the ends is the only part i want to be to be um wide and slanty so i'm going to fold my belt into into two i folded it into two and then going ahead to fold it again like so just gonna have to fold it again so this is the middle of that belt and these are the ends so what i'm just going to do is to slant it now this is not compulsory this is not compulsory so i just slanted it and then the next thing i'm going to do is remember the band after sewing the band is going to be two inches okay and after two inches we need our half inch so i'm just going to start from here now and just slant it till i get to the end that's just what i did so that's what i'm doing basically now this is not compulsory you can decide to make your own wider than even eight inches or wider than what i'm doing mine so this is my belt this is what that belt that is going to be tying either in front or at the back so i'm gonna have to do that you can even make your own longer than this you can make it longer than 60 inches you can make it as long as you want just you know try not to make it too long so that it doesn't swallow the whole skirt okay okay so i've gone ahead and joined the first tier remember i said the first tier was into two this is the joining on one end this is the joining on one end and then this is the joining on the other end all right this is the joining on the other end so for the hem for the three tier i've also gone ahead to fold the hem the row hem i'm gonna have to fold it so for when you want to fold a row hem that's use a row hem for curved um, edges or curved hems what you do first is you fold it as small as 0 0.25 and then you sew it round then after sewing it you now fold it a second time like this and sew it again so and that's what i've gone ahead to do as you can see this is what the hem looks like so now let's go into the placement before i now sew the three of them together this is the first tier it's so wide that it's already covering the 
size of the table I'm using for this tutorial. And this is the part here I joined, and then the other side is the opposite side. This other side, like so, is the opposite side. This is where the um, other one is. Then, let's now go in with the second tier. Now, this is the right side of my skirt. Okay, this is the correct, the right side of the skirt. Now, we are going to go in with the second tier. I've also gone ahead to fold the hem just like I did for the first tier. So, now this is me going in with the second tier. All right. All these things I'm showing are the parts that people complained about because some people said, oh, they didn't see when I joined it or how I joined it. So going in with the second tier. Now, because we joined, because we did some joining at the first tier, we now made it look like the circle, the inner circle of the first tier is smaller. But that's not a problem because at the end of the day, we are going to be gathering it and everything is going to become one. So this is the second tier on it. And then I'm going in with the smallest tier. This is the last tier here and then pin it after pinning it i'm going to go ahead and stitch it on the sewing machine and just stitch it round the three of them round so yeah this is the third tier and then this is the second tier so i'm going to go ahead and hold the three of them together on the sewing machine i'll come back and show you the next after that the next thing we are going to be doing is to fix our band i flip this hair to the wrong side because that's where i'm going to be starting with my band so the next thing i'm going to do is to start is to start stitching my band you know the right side of the band this is the right side of the band i'm going to do right side to the wrong side of the skirt like so so i'm going to start i need to go with my sewing machine now leaving that's my one inch seam allowance remember we had one inch seam allowance for the joining that's the part we're going to be joining so i'm going to start stitching from one end stitch my band from here stitch it all the way to this other end okay so now after that after stitching my band the next thing i'm going to be doing is to flip it to the right side of the skirt flip it to the so first thing first i'm going to go ahead and sew the band all around let me go ahead and sew it then show you the next thing to do so yeah i finished stitching it round this is the band i finished stitching it round from the wrong side so i've stitched it round the circumference of the skirt or the set the waist and this is the seam allowance then the next thing i'm going to do is to stitch i hope you can see this the next thing i'm going to do is to stitch this part but because i'm going to be passing in my elastic band i'm going to be creating a space so just from here to here i'm going to be creating a small space of about 1.5 to 2 inches space that i'll use in passing that uh, elastic band so after passing the elastic band that's when i will now stitch that remaining space okay so i'm going to leave that space and then seal up this part so now i've sealed it up this is the space for passing my elastic band this is the space for passing my elastic band. The next thing I'm going to do is to now close up the... So this is my half inch seam allowance. I'm going to fold it like so and then close this up. So I'm now sewing it to the right side. So after sewing it round, after sewing this band round, round this, the circle, the waist of the skirt, this is what it will look like on the wrong side. This is where I'll pass in my elastic. So now this is what it looks like after... This is what it looks like after you know joining this is the band my elastic is going to be coming in through this part now for the belt to sew the belt this is the right side of my fabric and this is the wrong side of my fabric so you're going to do right side to right sides okay then you sew seal this one end and sew all the way to the other end you just want to have an opening where you can now turn it and flip it to the right side it's pretty straightforward so that one is not um, a very big deal. I'm going to go ahead and sew my belt, flip it to the right side, give it a good press. And then after flipping it to the right side, I'm now going to top stitch and seal the other end. So let me go and do that. So here yeah, now it's time to pass my elastic inside inside the, the band. I want to pass the elastic inside the band. Here is my elastic. I made my elastic. Five inch shorter than my length, so my my waist. Sorry, my waist is thirty inches, and here is twenty five inches in length of elastic. So I made it five inches shorter than my waist, my waist measurement. So you don't want to make it the same length, okay? So after that, it's time to pass it in. Now I wasn't able to get exactly two inches of elastic. The other one I had, I exhausted it. So I'll just have to make do with this length, this size of elastic. If I knew it was going to be this size, I would have made my band. Um, I would have made this band bigger, but just to illustrate the same thing I did in the last period, that's why I made it two inches. And also, I didn't know that 
the one I had available was three inches. So I'm just going to manage it like that. So it's time to fix the elastic inside. Yeah, I'm using a safety pin to pass it inside, you know, just to guide it into the channel. So yeah, to secure this other end so that it doesn't go inside, I'm using a second safety pin. I didn't have supposed to use my sewing machine to secure this, but I'm just going to use a second safety pin and just pin it to the other side of the band, the other edge, so that it doesn't go inside the channel, it doesn't go inside the band. So yeah, these are the two ends of the elastic. I'm going to go ahead and secure this and now sew it. After that, I'm going to stitch it together. I'm going to stitch it together and then seal up that opening where I pass the elastic through. Now after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do is to fix my belt. So after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do is to fix my belt, okay? My belt already sewn and torn. This is my belt. I've already sewn it and I'll turn it. So what I'm going to do now is to find the mid the midpoint of this belt, the middle of the belt, and then just stitch it to either the center front or the center back, depending on you know, just stitch it on one side, stitch it on the front like so, stitch it down. Yeah, stitch it on the center front, or I can use that place at the center back or the center front. You can serve as depending on how I want to rock this skirt. And after that, the skirt is ready. Now, this is what the finished outcome looks like. Tell me in the comment section if you liked the other print better. I think I like this other print better. I hope this tutorial was satisfactory and I hope it was worth your time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video and turn on post notifications so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.